Aquarius. So you tried. I'm getting you tried or someone tried three times, maybe four. So I'm getting that you had to wait for something to happen, for something else to shift. The energy had to shift. You had to wait for the wheel of fortune. That's why it didn't happen. It's actually not your fault. It's fate. It's destiny. If someone feels like they've been made to wait, it's because of the divine and it's the timing. It wasn't ready yet. It wasn't cooked yet. It wasn't fully baked. I'm getting twice baked. Someone could be baking. Where is Aquarius in the energy? Okay, there you go. All right. We were just talking about that. So you could be dealing with a younger feminine. They may be very, very stubborn or this is you, my dear. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. This is your energy. So let's just read it like that for now. Okay, so I feel like I can be very honest with you, Aquarius. So someone feels like they can be honest with you and you don't get your feelings hurt. You don't get your panties in a bunch. You don't get butt hurt. There's something that you're able to hear without taking personally. Hmm. Okay, so you may be really nitpicky or you're acting like a perfectionist. But it doesn't have to be perfect, but the timing does, okay? So it's about the timing. It's not about the effort. It's the timing. So we've got intuition. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes, and you are climbing towards success. Yeah, love it. Jacob's Ladder here. Problems to be resolved. This could be about work. Who's in the energy? So something that's not changing here is because the timing wasn't right. Your intuition is going to tip you off on that. Okay, spiritual energy is going to tip you off. If someone is acting stubborn, unyielding, unchanging, you're going to get a bright idea, a light bulb moment. You're finally going to click. You're going to get it. Okay, it's going to change. Who's in the energy or this person is? Your approach was not wrong. It was the timing. Okay, it's it wasn't ready yet. Here's fire. We could be dealing with a fire sign here today. Strong emotion, passionate love, or hate is coming in. What's on the bottom? Wealth. All right, well, this person has strong feelings about money. They have a love-hate relationship with money, with wealth. They you maybe you know this about them. They could overspend sometimes and then they could be also miserly at other times. Something about them is from one extreme to another, financially speaking. So I'm gainfully employed to I'm broke kind of energy. Maybe they've experienced both in their own lifetime. Sure. I feel like that's quite common. Who's this in the reading? Who's this in the reading? Elephant. Okay, so this person's trying to learn from mistakes here. They're trying to learn from mistakes. Okay. So you're asking someone not to take something personally. Don't take it personally. This is what, what it is. It's just logical. It's not about love and hate. It's about the truth. Who's this in the reading? One more. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Triumph over troubles, obstacles. So I feel like the way that you speak to this person, they're going to get it, okay? It's like they're ready to hear you. They're ready to listen. They get it now. They're not going to get their panties in a bunch either. So everybody can talk now. It's the timing. Okay, spirit is now supporting this. So you've got spiritual love, Lily. Okay, what's all this? Wall and mountain. Yeah, someone built a wall or a mountain up out of a molehill. Something is quite typical or common. So that could be a repeat offender, a repeat behavior. Show me Aquarius. Okay, travel. What are you doing? You going somewhere? You 
got lust at a distance. Who's the person in the reading? Love and healing. Yeah, they're ready to listen. I'm telling you. Addiction. Drugs, alcohol, obsession, toxic attachment. Yeah, maybe this is about finances, okay? Spending habits that are changing, that kind of thing. So you're ready for a change in your life. You want to go somewhere else. You could be wanting to travel or this is about travel. So you're very distant from this person in the reading or you were, you may feel like they need to make some changes and you tried to tell them that who's, who's in the reading eight of pentacles. What's a Virgo. Oh yeah. They're working on it. Like I said, they're becoming a fire sign. So they feel sorry. They, it's like they get it now. They understand what's not working. They're changing their behaviors. Okay. They're trying to become more confident. It's like they're learning from mistakes and trying not to make the same ones again, which is a good sign, right? Maybe it's too late. I don't know. But this person is becoming more proficient in a skill and some sort of a talent here. They're working on being more financially robust or doing well in life. They could also be tempering their urges, their feelings. Maybe this is someone who gets, um, for example, they may feel sad or embarrassed, but they express it as anger. Okay. Underneath that is some sort of love. So they do have love. They just can't access it sometimes. Whoever this is, maybe they don't access it at all. Where's Aquarius? Yeah, this is like um, Virgo energy. They could have fire as well. Or they're working with a fire sign. I feel like they're tempering this fire energy. Where is Aquarius? Well, damn, you look very spazzy sexy today. Okay, seven of wands. Yeah, so you don't want to share. You're really, you really don't like what they've been doing here. And you made that abundantly clear. It's obvious. It's like, nope, not going to happen. So you definitely have some boundaries up with this person. You're protecting Empress energy. You're protecting your abundance, your softness. Yeah. Six of cups. There's children here. This could have to do with children, pregnancy. Sure. Knight of Swords. So you feel like you need to change something or this person has needed to change something and they're working on it and they're trying to return to you. What's this? King of Pentacles. Whoa. So this person asks you for money or they drain your resources a lot. You may have um, more than whoever this is. So I don't know if it's love, you know, maybe you have more love to give or share with this person than they have at this time. And everything is always in change, right? It's always in flux. It's always flowing. So it's just this moment in time, but it does look like you, you're very sweet and kind or you're protecting someone. Maybe you're protecting a child. You are very fierce when it comes to this. Like don't you know, attack my inner child or don't attack my child, you're fierce. You are to be respected and loved. How this person sees you. You look like you're on edge here. Why? You feel a lot of pressure over the future and future plans. Maybe this is travel. I do feel like you have your guard up to this person. They know that they sense it. They feel it like you may be on edge when you talk to them at times. You just want to hurry up and get the conversation over or you want to hurry up and create the changes. There's a certain topic here about your relationship, working together with them or the finances that pisses you off. It's already pissed you off and you've been working on creating a better life for yourself and perhaps children if they're involved. But this person is somehow you're seeing them as like your third leg 
it sounds interesting or like dead weight at this point they're not they just haven't been on their a game okay um maybe you did take on more of a responsibility i feel like they're trying to fix it aquarius please use your discernment but that's what it looks so aquarius so okay so you feel like this person has been real cheap um <laughs> Look, I'm not calling anybody cheap. This is the re I'm reading the cards exactly how I'm seeing it. Yeah, you feel like this person has been broke or has been cheap or they've not been giving you love. If it's not money, it's some other form of currency that's valuable to you. And it could be love. But here it looks like work. Like maybe they've been out of a job and their money sucks. Or they've been real cheap. They're kind of saving stuff for themselves. They pretend like it's 50-50 with you, but it's not. This person has been kind of keeping something for themselves. You may know that. And maybe you're okay with that. I don't know. But that's what this is. So let me see here. Or you feel this way. Why are you spending all this on yourself? Why are you saving all this for yourself and not me or not our relationship? Not our child, if there is a child. Okay. Yeah, so you know that this person wants to fix something. They're trying to give you like more respect, more love. They're determined to fix something. They're determined to get you what you deserve. That's what they're saying. Okay. I'm sorry. I treated you this way. It's not fair to you. I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to fix this. No, I totally get it now. That's what they're saying. Yeah, but you may not see that's what I said. Maybe something's just not it anymore, or you don't feel it anymore. You don't feel the love anymore. You feel more like stress or obligation. Three of Cups. This person feels highly connected to you. They feel like you guys are very good friends at the very least, that you guys have great communication, you get along well, that you guys have mutual love, but some bad blood has come up between you. Two of Wands, yeah. Ten of Swords. They know that they need to stop some form of communication. This could be with a group of people or friends. There may be someone here that... Uh, is a bad influence. So you could feel that it's a bad influence to your connection or when this person talks to a certain person, they start acting funny, they start spending money or they drink too much or something like that. Okay. And they know they feel like they need to. Yeah. So there's two of swords. Someone's trying to tell you, you know, I'm not doing that or I won't do that anymore, but they, they they may not even be fully convinced themselves. That could be part of the problem. Maybe they don't know how to fully fix something, how to fully make it up to you. You're the empress though. So you feel, damn, oof, my dear. Like I said, you can't just pull a freaking, yeah, and you're Venus and Aquarius over here. You can't just pull a freaking death card in your feelings. Someone took advantage of your kindness. Damn. You may feel like someone was bullying you. Maybe you have like a Scorpio around or a child. Like someone was bullying your child or was mean to your child. Like why would you say that to this kid that's rude? Or someone wounded your inner child here, you know? You feel very triggered by someone. And it's creating you to not, I don't know, man. You see someone differently here. Like you feel like you need them to change or else. It's like, or else, okay? And you don't want to know what's going to happen, basically. What is this? Yeah, the four of cups. You don't, you're not even hedging your bets on this. Like you don't feel confident that this person is able to do what you need at this point because they already left a bad taste in your mouth. Something is bitter here. Bitter, bitter, sweet. No, it's not even sweet at all. You're sweet and bitter. Okay, so maybe you are bittersweet. Sure. I just feel like something is bitter in your mouth. Something tastes sour. Like, ew, I'm not drinking that. I don't want your cup. It tastes sour. You know looks like something it's like yellow i don't drink that that looks gross like it, it kind of feels like this like you don't give me the empress this kind of cup interesting this person is in love with you 
Okay, yeah, and so the Ace of Cups begins. Hmm, this person is talking about you not loving on them. You're not giving them love and support like you used to, which you did. You did. You showered this person with love, affection, attention. Now you know you can't change. You're never going to change. Now that it's too late, someone wants to change. That's, I mean, story of your life. Am I right? That's how you feel about it. It's like, oh, you're going to realize later. Of course you will. And I feel like you know this. Okay. This person was too cheap with you, romantically split, or they were spread open, spread eagle. They were spread very thin over your buttered bread. Okay. Like, it's like, ew, this is gross. What does this person want? Yeah. Hangman. See, because someone's trying to convince you that you guys could be together here. They're saying, hey, I'm doing better. Okay. I'm leaving that alone. Tell me what this queen of wands is though. Cause I'm kind of like side eyeing this. Yeah, they are too. They're side eyeing this. How can I get a, Ooh, there's a person here. That's why you sucker. <laughs> you sucker. Okay, yeah, someone's a sucker for, for this this fire sign, or you are, Aquarius. You're a sucker for somebody. The fire sign's super sexy, right? Real sexy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, hold on a minute now. Oh, Chris, you're losing interest in someone. I feel like you're saying, okay, last offer. <laughs> like you're announcing this. Last round. Any takers? No? Okay. Screw you. Something like this. Oof. Yeah, here it goes. Ten of cups. Well, there may be a water sign that someone's cutting out or a fire sign that needs to get cut out. I'm seeing Pisces heavy, possibly Scorpio. Uh, you could be working with a Scorpio. Well, you don't have to be. It's in your feelings, though. It kind of looks like you. Uh, side note, you may feel like a, a relationship with a Scorpio fell apart. It fell to pieces. And you're, you're kind of wondering why you thought it was okay at the at first but now you're kind of thinking back on that. And it's all because of this person. Or the relationship kind of dismantled between you and this person. Now you're thinking about something else. Yes, like I said, something feels very nurturing, loving, or child. It could be a child. I don't know. Okay. So I see that you're about to tell this person just straight up exactly what you don't like about the dynamic, just straight up, very no chaser vibe. You're so straightforward here that this person is going to, you know, shit bricks, basically that they do not. Yeah. See, it's going to cause a lot of stress with them. Oh my gosh. This person is like two timing or you just feel like they are. They're too divided. They're spreading everybody's cheeks or whatever the heck they're doing. All right. What is this person doing over here, please? Besides what we're talking about? Justice. Yeah, that's the thing. They're running back. They feel like they made a mistake. So they, they effed up. This could be a Sagittarius. Damn. Tell me what this addiction is. What's wrong here? High Priestess. Ew. Oh gosh, no. They have someone at home or they keep someone in their home kind of waiting by the phone type vibe or they feel like this about you. Someone is being third partied kind of energy. And sometimes third party is a personified energy of... Um, a challenge in your dynamic, right? So the third party could be the finances. Sure. This reading looks like a person. Get in where you fit in. Let's see what else is going to happen here because this is ridiculous. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. Yeah, this person's trying to come in, you know, appeal to your emotions, talking about I changed this and that. They look like they're working on it. They really do. However, 
you're not going to change here. You don't, you don't look really turned on by this at all. Okay. What's this person doing next? Empress. There you are. Yep. Here they go with their juggle bus. So the five of swords is here in the death card. They want you to stop doing what you're doing. They want some of what you got. Okay. They're going to ask you for like explicit photos as well is what I'm seeing. Um, hmm. Seven of wands. Here you go. The moon. Six of Pentacles. Yep, here it goes. Seven of Swords and Emperor. What's the Seven of Swords really quick? Okay, mm, two cards came out. Nine of Pentacles, all right. This person is acting as though they're unencumbered or they're single. They're not going to do the work um, with somebody else. It could be a fire sign, or this is about a fire sign. Where's the other person in this? Nine Pentacles. Yep. Okay. Someone's coming in and they're like playing some sort of weird game with you. Because they're not fully um, out of something. Did I start the reading like that? Was that this reading? No, I don't know. But anyway, this person's not fully out of something. This could resonate with the cancer reading as well. That's why it's kind of like bleeding over. That's what it feels like. Aquarius. I know this is Aquarius. I'm just saying. What is this? There's some weird... Um, it's like this person's trying to influence you, influence your feelings, your emotions. They're going to be like, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. I was just pretending. No, you're not. Okay. There's actually intention underneath that. Let me see what else is here. Someone has to learn the hard way. Yeah. Here we go. Seven of Swords. That's you. That's Aquarius energy. You're not being affected and that really bothers them. You're you're kind of like untouchable here. Emotionally speaking. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. That's what this is. Okay. So what else? They're trying to tell you that they're bossing up here, by the way. Your Empress, their Emperor. That's what they're telling you. Is this person actually working on it like they say they are? Let's see. Yes, they are. Yes. Okay, let me just tell you this. This person knows that something needs to change. They are fully aware of it at this point. It's like, like full-blown right in their face, okay? Whereas before, maybe they didn't get it. But here we do have this elephant. It's like they finally understand or they're listening now. They're like, oh, maybe actually Aquarius was right about this. Or maybe I did need to do these things because this is going to help the whole situation. Sure. However, they still feel like they're not capable or they're getting in their own way somehow. And it could be because they haven't fully severed ties with what they believe or what they were doing, some habit they had, or it could be a person. So yeah, they are really working on it and, you know, use your discernment, but it looks like they're attempting, they're trying their best basically. And I don't know what their best is. So please, you know what their best is. Okay. Goodness. Show me Aquarius in the coming period. The justice. Well, damn, look at you. Everybody's up in arms over here. Yeah. Yes, I'm hearing Zaddy and baby. It's just be like someone's baby's father or mother or something. I don't know. So here's Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Well, here goes that regret. And the truth is all coming out here. 
Where's Aquarius in this right here? Right. Okay. Higher font. Mm. Well, damn. You're going to, wow. You're making the proper choices or someone's about to make a choice. Okay. And this choice does look like it's very significant for you and to you. You're getting that you know, full blown disclosure, honesty, everything. It's just full blown. It's not partial. It's everything at once. You're going to see it all. You're going to see what's behind the scenes, you know, the mechanics of something, the strings that are being pulled, all that stuff. It's all apparent to you now and you can make, you make your choices and move forward. And I feel like if you're, if you're on the line here, someone is choosing you. So I don't know if that's even, I'm hearing it's not even a consolation. Okay. It's not even a prize at this point. It looks like you're the prize and someone, someone thought they could be the prize or they tried to swap roles with you. Okay. Let me see this fire in this reading in this person's energy. Yeah. Sagittarius energy, the world. Okay. Let me cover those boobies and six of wands now Leo. Wow. Ten of wands. This person has learning some karma the hard way. This could be something that they didn't really see. You've got death and the eight of swords here. Unfortunately, this person learns the hard way, or this is something they had to learn through karma, through a cycle, through a hard way. And it, it may have been something that repeated multiple times until they finally got it. And maybe it's with you. We had to do this several times, or I had to think about this multiple times before it clicked, before I understood. I got that light bulb you know, ding, I get it now. That's what this is. So if anything is happening with this person right now, it's due to karma. It's due to cause and effect. It's due to, you know, some lesson underneath it. And that's why we have the wisdom of the elephant. I do see that this person will come out on top or they're going to overcome something. But again, they chose the hard way or they had to choose the hard way. Here's spiritual love though. Okay. So where, what's this? Someone is not attached to um, fame anymore, or they're not attached to attention anymore. Could be, could be like I don't need to show off anymore, or I don't need the best car anymore. I don't need the best clothes anymore, or something like that. Like they're more spiritual, or they're becoming more spiritual. Yeah. And so you look real stable here, you and yourself. Anything that Aquarius needs to know. Okay. I wasn't even looking at this and there's freaking... Okay. Wow. If you're choosing um, to work with this earth sign, it looks, it looks good. If you do choose that, I feel like you and this person blend together perfectly. Even if you're different, you have a lot of similarities as well. You're coming together as equals at this point, or you're blending as equals. This could be like genetics or uh, you guys could be same sex. Maybe somebody that you're working with, you don't have to be, you're both in a masculine energy here, but you're blended as equals. There's love between you and this person. Four of Cups. What's this? Page of Cups. Wow. Cups and the Swords again. Okay. Two of Swords. So I see that you have this connection with this person, Aquarius. It does look like there's something that they're offering you that you're going to sleep on or you're going to wait on or you're waiting for something else to happen. Maybe you're taking some time, some space. Maybe you need to rest, this kind of thing. But it looks like you guys can heal this. There's a truce. Like someone's really trying to fix a relationship with you. They're focused on you, okay? It's like they're going to try to appease you or try to make you smile, make you happy, make you feel comfortable, make you relax. Someone is trying to do this. Okay. This could be an earth sign. I'm getting Taurus energy, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. Maybe a cancer. Things are about to calm down, Aquarius, in a good way. 
and I feel like someone's trying to appease you here. So it's up to you, but I do see things calming. You may not care though. That's the thing. Like maybe your emotions are out of it at this point. It's somehow serving you well though. That's serving you well. Like keeping your emotions out of something. Like a person's trying to appease you. Yeah, emotions are running high. See? So that could be advice. Like don't get your panties in a bunch. Did we say that? That was this reading, wasn't it? <laughs> Someone needs to... Um, yeah, you are good enough. Yeah, so you're good enough to be spoiled or you're good enough to be catered to, Aquarius. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. That's what I'm saying. Like you're going to heal something or someone wants to make something up to you. They really do. You've got balance, spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces and full moon in Libra. There was Libra energy there too. A win-win outcome. Like I said, you and this person, you're going to heal a conflict with this earth sign, this Libra, this Cancer Pisces person, and it's beneficial for both of you. I feel like you are keeping your emotions out of it or that's what's benefiting you, okay? And conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Good for you, Aquarius. I'm. You know what? This came out really well, so I'm happy with your energy here and your reading. I hope you like it too, and I'll see you next time.